Uh, Dogecoin founder Billy Marcus has found himself in the middle of another controversy as crypto developers dig up a project that was abandoned 10 years ago. Uh, the project, which was titled Bells, was Marcus's brainchild before the idea for Dogecoin was born. However, he had abandoned the project and had not said anything about it until now. And what you've, uh, what's going to make what, what Adam McBride took to X, formerly Twitter, uh, last week uh, to share a recent find that was connected uh, to one of the Dogecoin founders, Bill Marcus. According to McBride, the Bell's token was founded by Marcus in 2013, but was abandoned following the 10th anniversary of Doge. When Marcus talked about the beginning of Dogecoin, the crypto enthusiast had gone hunting for Marcus's other crypto project, and they found it. Uh, McBride in cahoots with another crypto enthusiast was able to dig up information about the Bell's blockchain, which died in 2014, as well as a fork of the blockchain to an Ethereum version. But even after all of this, it did not end there. McBride would then bring his findings to developer Luke Wrightmain, who would eventually get the blockchain up and running again. Mining was kick-started once more on uh, Bells and miners and could get Bell tokens for their efforts. However, users were warned that the code, which is 10 years old, could not be completely safe and do not mine with their main machines. Uh, nevertheless, the cryptocurrency has garnered a lot of support and has managed to draw the attention of Marcus. On Monday, ex-user Crypto Kaduna took to the platform to share the Bells project with their over 110,000 followers. In the tweet, which does not directly mention Bells, Kaduna alludes to the fact that it was a remonched coin founded by Marcus, adding that the Dogecoin founder had joined the project's Discord to help the project. The founder of Doge at Billy M. Decay is also the founder of a recently relaunched coin. It sits at only 20M, while Doge's AF was 88B. He joined the Discord to help the project, apparently. Go through his replies and he'll find the coin. Uh, Kaduna, Crypto Kaduna, uh, December 18th, 2023. Uh, however, uh, Marcus would take the X to clarify uh, that he is not involved in the Revive project in any way. He explains that the original tweet was uh, misleading, and while he did join the project's Discord, he only did so to see what was going on and to provide a little, uh, a little color slash warnings about the tech. According to the, the, the founder, the tech behind the project is, uh, is very old and uh, people should know what they're getting to. And the Dogecoin founder also reiterated his previous stance that he does not plan to be a developer on any crypto project ever again. I'm never going to dev on any crypto project ever again. And I've made that extremely clear thousands of times. Marcus concluded. And uh, I didn't join the Discord to help the project. I joined to see what was going on and to provide a little color warnings about the tech. And I'm never going to dev on any crypto project ever again. And I've made that extremely clear thousands of times. And um, Shibatoshi Nakamoto, December 18th, 2023.